Have you come to trade? Good morning, friends. Welcome back once again, and thank you for joining me, Scribbles. Level 54, Fire Mage, also Scribe and Herbalist, currently standing in the Hall of Chroniclers in the BFA Battle for Azeroth expansion. So in the last episode, I was busily trying to earn enough reputation for a rank 2 recipe. It turns out that I actually already had the rank 2 recipe, well, reputation, because Scribbles here happens to be a Volpera, which is amazing luck, and was already honoured with the Volpera who sold a rank 2 recipe. So, that made me incredibly happy. This means in the interim, I have gone ahead and made tons and tons of pigment, ultramarine ink, sorry, converted pigment into ultramarine ink and crimson ink to make this rank 2 contract with the Vol, the Vol, <laughs> the Vol I can't even say it, and that's it there, so I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get up to about a hundred and... 40 or so. I'll just pause the video, it's not exciting watching. Okay, well I hope we haven't hit a little snafu, but the recipe has actually already gone green, so that's annoying. I'm not sure how we make rank 3, but I've noticed the honor bound is still yellow, so what do we need there? Well we need a lot more Crimson and Ultramarine ink, which is fine, I think. Um, maybe the Crimson could be a bit of a challenge. Let me just have a quick look down here. Dark Moon cards, I can't really make those. Codex of the Quiet Mind requires those inks again. That's a really good... Um, what am I trying to say? This one here, the Honor Bound, was probably the better one to get up to rank 2, because it's still yellow at rank 1. But as I was exploring yesterday, it's very hard to figure out how to get reputation with the Honor Bound. There's so many different quests and so on, but anyway, I'm waffling. Let's go downstairs. And I might have to go to the auction house to get some herbs. Let's come over here. Let me go ahead and buy some of this. Let's have a look how much I can make the crimson. I'm going to go ahead and make all that crimson ink. So I'll just pause the video for a moment and see you in a second. Okay, just giving you a little progress report. I am still making crimson ink. It's taking an extraordinarily long time, but the other day when I was doing this, I left the computer for, I think, half an hour while I walked around my house, coming back every now and then to buy more milk, um, distilled water, and then heading off again. It just seems um, a very strange decision, I guess, by Blizzard to create recipes that require just so much milling and um, creating so many materials. Anyway, I guess maybe it's a different context if you're doing it within the actual expansion. Let's make a few more and then we're going to make some ultramarine ink. Okay, let's get some more distilled water. It's very cheap. Doesn't really matter how much I buy, I guess. We'll go ahead and make all these. That's a lot of ultramarine ink. Viridescent ink as well. I could make that. That recipe there is not very good use of the materials. So hopefully we 
can get a few points out of this. I get a feeling that I'll be heading off to make more or to increase my reputation with this faction, the Honor Bound. To get to level 3 here, I need to do a world quest, but the world quests don't open until you've completed um, the campaigns within each area. So, whichever way you spin it, I think we're going to be going back to the campaigns. So, the, the game, I guess, or the, the expansion is corralling or forcing you, if you prefer that term. The other thing is to enter a contract with the Vol Dunai, allows you to gain every time you. So when we complete this contract, it, it means we can also increase, I guess, the experience or the reputation with the Honor Bound. Just as a point of knowledge, if you're not familiar with the game, the Honor Bound is the name of a faction in the game. So the idea being that you gain reputation with that faction in order to unlock rewards in this instance to unlock the next level contract which costs 1900 gold it's expensive everything is expensive isn't it so we're up to nine at the moment i really want to get to 140 so 15 more points might be possible with these recipes being but being green and yellow, I just don't know. I feel skeptical. I could go upstairs and check in with the trainer as well and see if there's any other recipes that have become available. I'm just going on a guide, but maybe the guide isn't perfect. I might just do that, just to break the monotony a little bit of creating ink. Let's go back up to the trainer and see if they've got anything new. Well, they do indeed. Dark Moon, Miss Vessel of Mysticism. Let's just go ahead and them and see what they require. Dark Moon, Cards of War. So, Expulsum could be the go. Expulsum and what's that one? Inscribed Vessel of Mysticism. Expulsum. We can see this is actually quite cheap, this ink to buy, but Expulsum can be expensive. Anyway, let's go ahead and just make some of these contracts. See how we go with our points. the video for a moment. See you soon. Okay, we've got enough in theory to hit level 140 with the honor bound, with this recipe particularly. Let's um, just pause making the ink and see if we can get there. Yellow recipe is a little bit unreliable. Yep, already we're one point off the game. Just need two more, so I think if we persist with this recipe, that would be a big time saver. So I'm going to make some more ultramarine ink. I've got plenty of um, ingredients for the ultramarine. Let me just check my crimson. Yeah, we can squeeze to 140 with that as well, I think. Then the guide says we need to make couple of these dark moon cards, about five. So I'm going to need five 
six balsams, which I can probably buy or create myself with the junk that I've got in my bag, maybe. And then we get to 145, and then we have to go off and learn another mass milling uh, inscription, um, what do you call it, recipe, from another trainer in a different part of the game. So it's a little bit convoluted, but we'll get there. So we've got two more contracts, enough materials for two more contracts. Now three. Just going to pause again, see how we go with the unbound contract. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay. So we got to level 140. That's surpassed my expectations. Now viridescent ink. Um, we should make that, and we need some expulsum as well. Let's go and try and make some expulsum. There's a place where we do that, I'm not quite sure if it's on the map even. Can't see it. Let's just head out side. It's kind of a wacky machine. I thought it used to appear actually on the map itself. Okay. I'm going to go down to the Terrace of the Crafters. Big jump. not too big, I don't want to die, that's a bit embarrassing. Got a little bit of armor in my bag. Use the Shredmaster on a pair of tassid pants. Okay. And scrap. It's not too bad, I guess. It'll save me buying it. I'm now going to go see if I can actually just buy some expulsion. Teleport to Dalaran. Northrend edition. Maybe Expulsum is Soulbound. I think it is Soulbound. Is it Soulbound? Where is it in my bag? It is Soulbound. That's a nuisance. Okay. We're looking for armor in the range. I don't know. Let's go 50, 60 maybe. Let's grab that. blues, I think. Get a 
as many blues as we can afford. Oh, that's a bit. Nope, I don't think I want that. Shadow lace 151. I've got my filter set incorrectly. Let's go 59. Let's just see if I can get that. Okay, that's better. No? Item level. Why won't it find what I want? So I want the eye level. Okay, I'm not doing this the right way, am I? Let me change this. Does that work? No, still not working. Oh, I see. Silly me. Okay. I think the machine. I think the game is working off a different principle. The player's level. This is better. It's better, but um, no, no dice. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Actually, you know what I could do now that I think about it? As an inscriptor, I can probably make um, mm, Spolson 2. I could make these and then, okay, let's, we might need some more herbs. Some river bud, no sea stalks. Let's look at the map. I can never remember the herbs I need. Let's try. Is this the right? No, it's the wrong. Culturas. That's what I want. So this is. Siren Sting. Let's try that. No Siren Sting. Let's try um, Winter's Kiss. Star Moss. Winter's Kiss. Too bad. Let's try Star Moss. Even better. Nice and cheap. Let's get 398. Oops, it's a bit much. Buy that. Okay, let's see how we do with that. This was a mistake. I bought all these, but I don't need them all. Okay, uh, back to inscription. Let's go ahead and make these. Mass mill them, I mean. It's too fast. of pigments, I hope. I wonder if I can buy distilled water here. Now, Dark Moon Cards of War. What was I going to make? 
iridescent ink. First of all, let's just see if we can get the water. Go to the bar. Talk to the bartender. No, not to worry. Let's just head back to Del Lazor. Del Zor. Two expulsions. We just need three more, which hopefully, hopefully we can do. Let's grab that. Apologies, someone's decided to, I don't know what they're doing, street vacuuming or something. Very noisy. Um, Darkman cards of war. Three, two. That's what we need. More crimson ink and some viridescent ink. So let's go ahead and make the crimson. I might just pause the video for a moment, come back and make the viridescent. Okay, well, we've got some crimson ink up our sleeve now. Let's come back down the menu book here. I can't remember what I was going to make. Dark Moon cards of war. What was my plan? Sometimes I forget my own plans. We need some viridescent ink. Might just make the viridescent. your powder. See you in a moment. I'm just going to pause the video. Okay, so we've got enough vir viridescent, I can't say it, viridescent pigment now to make, sorry, viridescent ink, to make uh, two dark moon cards of war. So I'm going to make those. Two of squalls. Right now, we need make, we're going to make a few of these. Gosh, it uses a lot of light parchment, that recipe. Let's come out here. Grab some light parchment. on through. So 40 max. There we go. And we'll make a couple more of these. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can create some expulsion with that. Let's go down and find out. There is the Shredmaster on the map, finally. I knew, I knew it was on the map. That's a big jump. Poor hyena. Okay, let's come in here. And there it is. So, put all of these in. Hopefully these blue items particularly, that's what I'm interested in. Create some expulsion. No. Yes. One. One more, come on. Oh, what a nuisance. Just one expulsion. Let's go back here. Dark Moon card of war. Create. I tell you, these recipes drive me crazy. So, might be time to make more ultramarine ink and see if we can squeeze through using the green recipe. That 
that's the only idea I have. Okay, I'm going back up the top. We're going to go make some more ink. And we'll see if we can claw our way to 145. That's the plan. Let's come up here. Grab some distilled water. Okay. Neva starts his diesel engine. Perfect timing. I might pause the video and make the ink. Okay, so we've got enough materials to make four contracts for the on about. Let's just go one more, get five. Let's see if that can get us over the line to level 145. Okay, it's pausing there. Let's go ahead, bit of a gamble. No, yes, one more point. One more point. make some more ultramarine ink. I think we can squeeze over the line. It only takes, we've got enough for 10 more, because I think at level 145 we don't need any more crimson ink. And ultramarine ink is extremely cheap on the auction house. I've got loads and loads already. Let's try this one. Yes, 145, finally. Okay. That was good. Now, the next part, a bit uncertain of how to get there. Let's see if I can ride back to how I got there before. Anyway, I'm going to take a break, even though this video is not that long because of all the pausing. I've been doing it for quite a long time this morning. So I'm going to take a break and I will see you again soon. Thank you again for joining me. Like and subscribe. Bye for now. <coughs>